Hey guys, how's it going? It's Aphid Eric, and apparently there's an issue with the Series X controller that is hurting gamers' hands. They're saying it's too small? I don't know. To me, it's about the same size as the Xbox One controller. Like, I really don't see much of a difference other than it kind of being, I guess, a little flatter. Not as curved or as... As thick looking I, I have no idea to me it feels it looks exactly the same which is weird when I hear people complain about it I don't know but then again I have tiny hands so we're gonna read this interesting article from Screen Rant where it talks about this um, somebody from another gaming journalist website had something to say about it and I was like all right we'll read this we'll give my thoughts stuff like that if this is your first time coming to the channel if you have never been here before, why don't you go ahead and click that red subscription button down below and let's go ahead and read this. So it says, Xbox Series X controllers hurting some adult gamers hands. Again, these motherfuckers might have Andre the Giant hands or something. I, I don't understand. Like if your hand, are your hands like 12 inches long or what? So it says, Twinfinite's Chris Jex details how the new Xbox Series X controller's smaller size causes a strained hand feeling after an hour or so of gaming. So after an hour or so of gaming, I sit here four to five hours during live streams at times, and I have not had issues with any controller except this one for the Switch, this little pro controller, which after a while I feel it like right here. Other than that, I haven't felt it on any control. So it says the Series X controller is essentially the same as its predecessor, the Xbox One controller, but with a few minor additions and tweaks to the, meet the enhanced standards of Microsoft's newest console generation. Plus, the Series X controller already comes in three colors. What's not to love? For some gamers, the Xbox Series X controller is mostly everything they would have wanted with a small problem. The controller's smaller and it hurts their hands. Again, I to me it feels exactly the same. Maybe it's smaller, but not to the effect where it's going to be obviously like hurting your hands. I think maybe if anything, it's an inchy, binchy, winchy, teeny bit smaller. Uh, to me, I honestly, looking at them like naked eye, I can't tell. But, oh well. It says a console's controller is in many ways just as important as the console itself. In Sony's case, the generation's old DualShock controller retired alongside the PS4 in favor of a completely new DualSense controller with a sleek white design, much like the brand new look of the PS5. Plus, the DualSense comes with motion controls, adapted triggers, and vibration. All these changes have made the DualSense noticeably bigger than the Series X controller and previous DualShock controllers. So, yeah, the DualShock DualSense 5, I think is a perfect, amazing controller. It feels comfortable. It just feels great. I love the way the buttons feel when you push them. It's probably the best controller right now out of both of them, I would honestly say. Now, this goes on to say, one would think the bigger size would result in some hand discomfort, but alas, it seems the small Series S controller is the problem. So Twinfinite's Chris Jacks wrote in a review of the Series S controller that everything about it was a minor, but mostly nice step away from the Xbox One controller. However, Jax noticed that the new controller is smaller than both its predecessor and the premium Xbox Elite controller. He goes on to say, it's far more noticeable than I ever thought it would be and not in a good way. Again, I, I don't notice a size difference. Call me blind. I mean, looking at it, holding it up, putting them next to each other. It, it, to me, in fact, I would, I would venture to say the the handles are longer I, I have no idea I, to me it just it looks exactly the same other than it being flat on the front and the d-pad being different so he said it says in particular jacks experienced some hand strain after about an hour or so of playing games like rocket league assassin's creed valhalla and forza horizon 4 with the new controller Jex did not notice the same pain when using the DualSense controller. So it says the Xbox One controller is known to be very comfortable in size, so why did Microsoft make the change? 
In a statement about the Series X controller's new features, senior designer Ryan Whitaker said that Xbox wanted to accommodate gamers with smaller hands to improve accessibility for all. So I guess I'm... They wanted to improve gaming for me. <laughs> the small hand club. Specifically, designers at Xbox said they designed the controller to fit the hands of an 8-year-old, which made the controller usable by a broader group of gamers. That's interesting. I did not know that. The designers did so by rounding and reducing the outer components of the controller. Beyond that, the Series X controller introduced a share button on the front to make it easier to share gameplay clips and screenshots. So that's what what that middle button is right there. Although it may be frustrating to experience discomfort during long gaming hours, which yeah, it definitely can be. Trust me, doing some of these live streams, I feel it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, like when I was playing Super Mario Brothers 35 on stream, my God, using this controller, which is completely flat. It's a good controller. It's awesome for like a pro controller style thing. But my goodness, did it ever so slightly bother the hand compared to the pro controller for the Switch. So I could hear it on that. But again, the Xbox Series X controller and the Xbox One controller to me are pretty much the same i can't feel a difference but again i'm sure if you have andre the giant hand you can so i don't know so it says it is actually commit admittedly commendable of xbox to put such great efforts into becoming more accessible plus in the end there's no really no way to cater to all sizes of hands for now anyone struggling to enjoy the series x controller may be better off trying out the razor wolverine v2 which is the most comfortable xbox controller on the market so interesting read you know i haven't heard too many people actually complain about the xbox controller hurting their hands at all honestly this is the first report that i've seen talking about it nobody in my chat my live stream chat has really even mentioned it so i i don't know if it's just something that some of you guys are personally experiencing again to me it's perfect but again i have little hands to me, it's comfortable. It fits well. In fact, it feels lighter than the Xbox One controller. Uh, but size-wise, to me, it looks exactly the same. I, I can't tell a difference. I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm honestly not bothered by it. I'm curious to see what you guys think. So, of course, as always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And again, if this is your first time coming to the channel... My goal for the end of the year is to get 80,000 subscribers or even more. I'm almost there. I think I'm like 2,500 away as of right now. So if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you guys consider doing it? Hit the red subscription down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.